In the year 2000, my husband Greg was diagnosed with diabetes. Within a year, he was referred to a number of specialists, including a nephrologist. It was found that he'd been living for a number of years on diagnosed diabetes, and it had caused a number of health problems for him, including damage to his kidneys. Due to advances in medication and disease management, Greg was able to avoid dialysis for a number of years. However, in the fall of 2015, his kidneys were failing to the point where he did need to go on dialysis, and he started the evaluation process for transplantation. This was an extremely stressful time for the whole family, and it was difficult to watch my husband become increasingly unwell as months path. Thankfully, he was approved to receive a transplant, and his brother was matched as a donor. The Kidney Walk has meant a lot to my family. Not only have we been able to come together for a great cause, we have t come together in a healthier and more active lifestyle. My parents were inspired to participate after my father was the recipient of a kidney transplant that gave him back his freedom to enjoy life to the fullest, free from the tether of dialysis and the daily struggles of kidney disease. He was very lucky to find a familial match in his brother who, without hesitation, agreed to be a donor. Because of this gift, Greg can golf, travel, and enjoy spending time with his family and friends without worry. Greg was given his life and quality of life back because of the funding enabling scientists to research and develop new treatments for kidney disease. With my mom by his side, they were able to access information and support that helped them to make the best decisions to maintain and improve not only his health, but the whole family's. During this pandemic, we are truly aware of what hero scientists can be. But research and science do not happen without significant and ongoing investment. They need our support to keep on innovating, finding new treatments, and saving lives. That is why I walk. Not just in recognition of how the Kidney Foundation has helped our family, but how it can support science and family in the future. Hi, my name is Phil Alt. I uh, am a kidney donor. I uh, donated a kidney to my brother Greg when uh, I became apparent that uh, his kidney function was uh, at the point of critical. Um, some people wonder why I gave Greg a kidney and what the process was for deciding that I would do that. It was an easy process, to be perfectly honest, and it is as simple as this. I thought, I have two kidneys, I can survive with one, so I should offer one to my brother, because uh, his quality of life will not be good if I don't donate him a kidney. Furthermore, I was not uh, particularly daunted uh, by much of what I had to go through. The, uh, the checkups at uh, the University of Western Ontario were spectacular. Um, the workup that I had to do uh, just prior to the operation was not too uh, frightening. And finally, the operation itself went quite smoothly. I know that not everybody can be a kidney donor, and I don't encourage everybody to be a donor. It's it's a, a very important, life-changing, life-altering decision. I uh, encourage those who wish to save someone else, however, or to help someone with their quality of life, to please consider being an organ donor after they pass, because your organs can actually improve the lives of up to seven or eight people. Now, hopefully you won't be as unlucky as me. On his first game of golf, after Greg received my kidney, he scored a hole in one. If he messes around, I'm taking my kidney and my hole in one back. I was diagnosed with kidney disease and subsequently went on dialysis. Not long after that, I discovered that my brother was a good match for me. I began the process of becoming a... Uh, Donee, and he became, started the process of becoming a donor. I spent about a year on dialysis, and the time, that time I continued to get sicker and sicker and sicker. I didn't even realize how sick I was and how it was affecting me. I do remember the number of pills I had to take during that time. Eventually, my brother was cleared for uh, uh, to be a donor, and we had, shed, had a surgery scheduled for September. Subsequent to that, there was a, a problem with the scheduling. We had to push it off to December. When December came, I went into the hospital to receive my transplant, <clears throat> and I immediately uh, was so relieved. My wife says I, I just slept the whole day until I was let in to get the kidney transplant. Everybody told me how much 
better I'd feel after. I didn't realize how bad I felt before that. And they said, when I woke up, I'd feel immediately better. And that was true. When I woke up, I felt better than I had in years. After that, my health continued to improve. I was able to do things that I could never think of before. Actually, that I hadn't been able to think of in a long time. I was able to go for walks with my wife, spend time outdoors. I wasn't chronically tired. Um, I had a life again with, without the kidney transplant. I don't know where I'd be right now with the kidney transplant. I'm able to continue and operate and be productive in society. Thank you.